Hey, welcome to Memorial Day long weekend. Look who's down in the creek. Hauling water for her garden. Now she hauls it there and then I'll take it up and get it in the tractor. <laughs> I know, I got it, I got you. Alright, so it's Thursday uh, afternoon. Take you over to show you what I did for two and a half hours this morning. Clean the shed again for the I don't know how many of the time, but yeah, it's all nice and neat once again, only to be messed up by a month in a month. Alrighty, this is a new trimmer. Welcome to the family. I can't believe I sunk over a hundred dollars in parts trying to fix that other one. Oh well, <clears throat> can't win them all. Uh, so this square tubing is to make a new one of these, which broke there uh, during a rainstorm. Deb had the awning out and forgot to put the leg down to drain it like they showed us. So got a repair job to make because you can't order the part you can't order the part you got to order the entire arm for four hundred and fifty dollars no that ain't happening that's really what i did to uh rig it back together so hi sophie Say hi. <laughs> so here's the piece right here. I don't know if you can see because. And it broke on this side. So all I have is like an S hook hooked to some kind of tool, like tool, tool that came with my tractor to some kind of other S hook in there. Um. So yeah, it's working out fine for now. All right, let's take you out to the project. Fence. So we decided to go with candle panels because it's a lot easier. And T-post. Down the road, is what, what I plan to do is eventually replace uh, at least the corners and the door uh, openings with wood, 4x4s. But, uh, so we're going to have an opening here. You can see where this panel is on the ground. Uh, that's going to be a door there. So that's the access door so Deb can get it in and out of her shed. And then over here, we got more cattle panels. And I'll end up cutting open the door here, and that'll be like the main entrance. So, and then everything else will be enclosed. You can see we got all the panels, there's the T bars. And thank you, Derek Zidic, for selling me his old trailer, else I would have never been able to get these. Take you over and show you how that was done. So, basically we put them in the trailer like you see here. Opened up the back and slid them in. And I can't believe we got all 13 in there. Bought a lock for this, so I never have to worry about what happened to my mouse trailer happening to me. I got a lock on my uh, boat trailer too. I've had this one for a while. But, yeah, nobody can come and take that or that. They can take this one, so I'll have to get a lock for that one, too. Although they can just take the boat right off of it. All right, well, that's all I'm going to shoot for now. Uh, we'll get another video up right after this one. And uh, show you guys what's gonna, how the fence looks and everything. Uh, 
here's my trail cam. I gotta cover with a boot so I don't have to remember to turn it on and off all the time. So you gotta take it all apart, turn it off. So I just slide the boot over it when we're here and take it off when we leave and that works out fine. But this one's gonna move. I think I'm gonna put it uh, over on that tree next to the shed so I can look at the whole camper. And then this one here, I have pointed at this view right about there. So you kind of see everything. Actually, I don't think I have the shed in. I think it's like that. But anyway, guys, y'all take it easy and uh, look for another video right after this one, uh, which I'll probably shoot tomorrow and show everybody uh, what the fence looks like. Till then, have a good one.